WC7600 Advanced Monitoring. Hi everybody, today we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to monitor your wireless networks on a Netgear ProSafe WC7600 Premium Wireless Controller. Wireless networks, especially larger ones, can be very difficult to monitor. The sheer number of APs and wireless clients can be overwhelming and make it tricky to troubleshoot. The WC7600 has built-in advanced monitoring tools that will make it easy to provide an overview of your wireless networks or even look into the status of particular APs or wireless clients. For this demo, I'll be logging into an existing wireless system with many APs installed and demonstrate how the WC7600 can make life easier for network admins. The first step is to log into the WC7600. To do so, we'll open up a browser window and log in. As you can see, this particular wireless environment is managed by two WC7600s with a total of 44 APs and many wireless clients. In this section, you can gain a high level overview of your controller, AP, clients, and wireless networks. For more detailed drill down on our controller, we'll go to Monitor Controller. In this section, you'll find a detailed summary of various aspects of your controller and wireless networks. To view a summary of wireless usage, click on Usage. Here, wireless usage and number of clients is broken down by AP and SSID and displayed in an easy to understand graph. We're able to see how our wireless networks and wireless bands are being utilized over a 12 hour period. If you have multiple WC7600s, it's worth mentioning that you can easily look at the status of the other units by clicking on the plus sign and selecting that unit. Information for APs and SSIDs for the other WC7600 is now shown. Next, we'll go to the access point page. On this page, you can see a detailed summary of your various access points. By utilizing the information provided here, we can easily locate busy APs or busy SSIDs and take the necessary steps to remedy or divert that traffic. Let's say there's a specific AP or AP model you need to find quickly. You can do so by typing in the search box. For example, I want to find all WNDAP 660s used in this network. Simply type 660 and there you go. Or if you want to find the AP that is on 10.1.30.200, uh, I'll enter in that IP address right away. And information for that AP is displayed. Now to see detailed info on that AP, simply select it and click on details. You'll have similar filtering capabilities for connected wireless clients as well. To view this, click on clients. This will help you troubleshoot or identify clients eating up excessive wireless bandwidth. Again, you can view detailed info on a particular client by selecting it and clicking on details. The neighbor AP page helps you identify wireless APs that are not managed by the controller. Sometimes people refer to such APs as rogue APs. Rogue APs can be a potential security risk to your network as they may not be secured according to your network security standards. Using the info provided on this page, you can identify and rectify any APs that should not be present on your network. Next, we'll go to the Profiles page. The Profiles page provides you with an overview on the different wireless security profiles you have created. 
To gain even more visibility into different SSIDs, click on the WLAN menu item and select an SSID from the drop-down. Today, we've covered some of the useful monitoring tools available to us on the WC7600. There are many more monitoring and diagnostic tools built into the controller, which makes life managing your wireless network an easy one. Thanks for watching.